Keep watching Charis TV. Uh, let me touch you here. Hold it, hold it. This thing must leave you as God is feeling you. This demon must leave you. Let me touch you again. This is a demon of lust that is leaving you today. In Jesus' name. You are free today. Rise up. Brother, it is so good what to use you, but there was a demon. I was following you. You got it from your close friend. Ladies, go. Jesus' name. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Maganiniza. And standing with me here today is my brother who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon his life. Sir, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Uh, I am Prophet Prince. I'm from Pretoria. So today during the service, the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, the Apostle spoke about the spirit of lust that I got delivered from today. And which was true because that's why I was here. God spoke to me in a revelation because I tried praying, everything, fasting about it. And I got a revelation to come here. So I thank God that today God fulfilled his word in my life and I believe I'm delivered and the apostle said truly God want to use me so I believe from today I will start to see massive moves of God in my life thank you so much can we speak a little bit more about the spirit of lust um, in our conversation you seem like you are aware of it um, can you maybe just tell us a little bit more I noticed it when I was failing to um, it would disturb me, I would lose focus. Yes, yeah, it is distracting. Okay, let's speak about that. Oh, what will happen is women will throw themselves to me. Mm. They will request to sleep with me. They will do everything. So I knew that this thing, if because blocking them, it was not, you block this one, this one's come, you do everything. So I knew that the best way is for God to help me so they can move. Yes, that's how it affected me. Yes. And how do you feel that today the Apostle located you, ministered upon your life regarding this? Um, I like to give God the glory that I am free. And yeah, I will live to make God proud because He delivered me, because He loves me. So I believe that, yeah, to God be the glory. Lift him up. Father, there's a spirit you are fighting. You hear me? Yes, sir. It's the spirit of your family. Where you yes. fail to marry. So yes, they uh, overcome the spirit today. Amen. And I might will feel you. <laughs> Lift him up. Listen, don't listen to accusation. Amen. Thank you, man of God. Yes, yes, yes man of God. People are accusing you. It's true, man of I'm God. Telling you that you, you are not using the power of God. It's true, man of God. Come, come here. Come on. Come on. His life, sir. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Apostle Bongmo Sambazo from Pumalanga, Nel Spray. Sir, today during the service, the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. During the prayer, the man of God mentioned that I must not listen to accusations because pe many people are accusing me that I'm using the power that is not of God. So he told me not to listen to those people. I must continue with the work of God. I would like to confirm 
the prophecy is true. Uh, it, it has happened a lot and it's happening. Many people are accusing me, saying, how come I have so much power when I'm still young? How where do I get these powers? And sometimes they are telling people not to come to the ministry, not to attend the service, because they're saying I'm using strange powers. So I would like to confirm that it is true. I'm aware and I know about it. Yes. And how did the accusations affect you? Um, they do affect because you'll find that sometimes few people will only come to the service and sometimes I will be worried. So the man of God was telling me that I must not be worried, I must be free and continue with the work of God. So I thank God for the word of the prophecy from the man of God. Lift him up. Allow God to give you money. Yes, that is true. Nobody will give you, but God will give you. Amen, sir. Uh, you see, you're believing God for money. It's true, Daddy. But, but the things, the way it's happening now, <clears throat> they're not happy. Jesus, man. Yeah. Bring him. Stand up. God will help you, you hear me? Uh, for you to come here. Amen. You're here to bring this spirit that they were worshipping at home. Amen. You understand? Amen. So that God will use you too. Amen. So I'm talking about your problems. Go. 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 In Jesus' name. Oh. So you are healed. You hear me? You are healed. Yes, man of God. Yes. Yes, because what is happening here yes. is giving you concern. Yes. So we stop this thing, you hear me? Amen. And this issue of your heart, Amen. that is not beating well. You are free? So you have a demon, you know? I don't know. Who said you're a pastor? Because you're there. This is a demon. This is a demon. Come here. Brother, come here. After you give a testimony, uh, you know, God now is giving you favor. Amen. You understand? Thank you, Papa. Already you have seen that. People Thank are beginning you. to understand it. Thank you. So Thank don't look at the number you have. Amen. You understand? This Amen. number can make you to be discouraged. Amen. It's true. Because these people are few here. But it's God true. It's giving you favor, brother. Okay. On his life, sir. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Uh, my name is Elijah. I'm from Bronger Spread. So today during the service, the apostle located you and spoke upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay. Ne, uh, Daddy told me that uh, because of my testimony, the Lord is, fa is starting favoring me now. So he said I must not be discouraged by the number that is in the church now. Yes, because I was starting to be discouraged. Yeah, but uh, as Daddy said, now the Lord has given me favor. So I really want to appreciate God, and indeed, I believe it will be so in Jesus' name. Amen. This thing of your work bothers you a lot. You mean? Huh? You are worried about this work, that it's always like they are underpaying you. Yes, daddy. Soon, there will be no work here, soon here. There's going to be a progress here. Come. Mm -hmm. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, let me anoint you. Let's anoint you more. Be anointed in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bring this man to me. Go. Brother, today, because you have never fallen, so today you fall for the best. You hear me? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, because you to fall is not easy. It's true. You are, you, you are a strong person. Amen. And you don't believe that you can fall easy. So, yes, except huh? when I come here. That's only when you come here. Yes, sir. So now fall again. I'm, I'm praying for, for these revelations that are coming to you. Amen. You hear me? Yes, daddy. So when you start to get this, you must pray. Amen. You understand? Yes, daddy. Yeah, but the issue of struggling in preaching, yeah, it's over. Amen. It's really over. You've seen Amen. It. Alive, ma'am. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Uh, greetings, uh, people of God. My name is Maureen Tobakale. I'm from Jimiston. 
today during the service, the apostle located you and spoke upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay, uh, Apostle, he's ministered upon my life today. He told me about the visions that uh, keep on coming to me. And he said he's praying for me that uh, whenever they come, I must pray and be able to release them to people. Yes. And how do you feel that today the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life regarding this? I feel so very much happy because sometimes they will come in number to a point where I don't even know what to do. So today I got the direction that whenever I get the revelation, I just have to pray about it. Yes. Amen. Brother, don't allow anything to confuse you. You understand? Yes, man of God. Uh, what Satan wants to do here, he wants you to be confused. Yes, Apostle. Uh, it's the right time now. It's the yes. right time. Yes. Of you to go and preach. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm releasing you. No one has released you, but I'm releasing you now. Amen. I receive I release you. Yes. So you will preach, and God will use you. Amen. On his life, sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Pastor Moloko mm -hmm. Rapatlelo. I come from Pretoria. Sir, today during the service, the apostle located you and ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. The apostle said to me, um, uh, I shouldn't allow the devil to confuse me. The time is ripe for me to start preaching and I should not allow any confusion in my life. And uh, God is going to move in a great way. So I should uh, start moving from now. Yes. And were you doubting? Well, the truth is, uh, not necessarily doubting, but there was a confusion in my in my head as to when should I start, whether I'm not jumping the gun, whether I should delay it and wait to hear God more. But the apostle said, no, there's no better that time than now. I have to start immediately and uh, everything is cleared and I'm ready to go. And how do you feel that today the apostle located you, ministered upon your life and even gave you direction? Well, um, in the <coughs> usual language they say, I'm on top of the world. Yes, and uh, there's nothing that is going to stand in my way. I'm going to move right away. This weekend, we, we are kicking off. This spirit must leave you. Eh? What do I do to you? Eh? What do I do here? What do I do to her? Speak out. Why are you blocking her? <laughs> Speak. You demon. <laughs> Why are you blocking her? <laughs> Who has released you to be a pastor? Okay, in Zimbabwe we started a church, so they Who said I'm a pastor. Who has you to be a pastor? Sir. Mm. Yes, true, sir. Huh? There's a prophet in Zimbabwe who said I'm a pastor. Did he release you to be a pastor or did he tell you you're a pastor? He even released me and even gave me a church, a branch. He gave you a church? Yeah. So you're with him? And now we are no longer together. Why? That's why I'm coming here. Why? I, why why are you no longer with him? I, there is something that uh, I end up not understanding about him. Whilst I was here in South Africa. So. Oh, now you, you agree there's something you don't understand. Okay, I'll yes. pray for you. Thank you, man of God. Deliver me. Huh? Deliver me, man of God. Yeah, because right now, yeah, according to me, you're not supposed to marry. You hear me? It's you're true. supposed to do what other people are doing. You're supposed to sin. <laughs> that's true, man of huh? God. Yes, that's you true. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. But that's the spirit that you got. That's why I say, who has released you? He think that's true, man of God. Huh? Deliver me, that's true, man of God. Yes, this is the spirit of last year. <laughs> Bring him to me. Uh, after I pray for you here, all these funny dreams, Yes. Because when you sleep here, you see problems. Probably every day, man of God. Especially yeah. these past three days, too much. You will never see these things again. Thank you, man. You are free. Life, sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Emmanuel. I'm coming from Oliven. 
So today during the service, the apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and con please confirm it. Yeah, apostle asked me that who released you to become a pastor. Then I told him that there's a prophet he released me in Zimbabwe. So apostle asked me if we are still together. Then I said no. Then apostle asked me why. Then I said because there is something that I didn't understand about him. Mm -hmm. Then apostle said it's true because there is a spirit that is in you. Then apostle delivered me. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank God for deliverance. And how do you feel that today you were located and delivered? Yeah, I'm happy now because I know that, and I believe that God is going to use me the way I'm supposed to work, not under anything else. Yeah. I want to tell you that if you take care of this woman, you will prosper. Amen. Jesus. Amen. I this receive. woman agree to marry you when you have got nothing. Amen. You understand? So go bless you for this woman. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. Jesus. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? I am I'm with my husband. We are from Randfontein. Ma, today during the service, the apostle located you and ministered upon your lives. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. I confirm the the. The, the, the prophecy to be true. Uh, I've been with my husband from, from through thick and thin. Like, I've even received rejection from my, my family, and my family is like not getting along. But I stood by him because I know that God would not lie to me when he said that he was the one, and he was the one. He found me when my life was a mess, and ever since I met him, then. There was, a piece, there was a missing puzzle in my life, but ever since I met him, the, the puzzle met, so I knew that I, I, received my, my, I met my soulmate. And how do you feel that today the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life? Uh, I feel so wonderful, and I believe that the, what you have came here for, it is being done, and uh, it, it, it is well with our ministry, and it will be well with our life and our family in Jesus Christ's name. All is well, I believe, because God has located. I believe because this man, Prophet Makananis, is a real man of God. That's the testimony you are saying. Another man, when he testified, he said, he think uh, Prophet Makananis, uh, he's like Prophet T.B. Joshua. Me also, I was seeing the same grace. That is why I believe that all is well in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, I'm very happy you are here. Yes. You understand? Yes. Because you, you want to be here all the time. Y yes. Even when it was tough. Yes. So I, I want to pray for breakthrough on you. Ah, for God to, to give you man. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? I'm, I'm Apostle Lawrence Wami. I, I stay in Olivine. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. I was so happy when Apostle Minister to me said, you always like to come here, and it is true. And they said, always when you want to come here, you struggle to come here, and which was precisely, even today somebody prayed for me for transport to come here. He said, I'm, I'm blessing you now financially so that you have financial breakthrough. I was so, so happy. <laughs> every time, I, 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 what, what makes me want to come here every time is that every time when a man of God is speaking, is precise. Last time he told me that you don't have a father, and they, which is true. He said you never see your biology culture since you were born. You never see, and it was true. And they said you were facing rejection, and there's a lot that he always come here. So even my sons at my church, they always tell me how oh, that man of God loves you. Is precisely in prophets. Every prophet that he gave me is precise. I'm so shocked that how did this man have such information with you? So I understand how God works. So I'm so so happy. I'm, I, every time when I'm coming, I'm blessed. I'm I'm I'm, I'm filled. I'm filled up. <laughs> Amen. What is happening here? Help, Mama, bring her. Help, Baba. 